Hello friends, this video on rational numbers part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction, Rational Numbers, Rational versus Irrational Numbers, Equivalent Rational Numbers, Rational Numbers on Number Line, Operations on Rational Numbers wherein we will talk about Addition, Subtraction, Multiplication and Division. So even before we talk about rational numbers, let's talk about numbers as such. Now mathematics and numbers, they are so closely related to each other that we cannot think of mathematics without numbers, right? When you get your scorecard of exam, you say that I scored 95% of marks in my exam. So what is this 95? So this 95 is nothing but a number which defines your performance in the class. What's the time now? And you say that it's 10 p.m. now or 10 a.m. now. So what is 10? 10 is again nothing but a number. How many students are there in your school? And how do you reply to that? You say that there are 5,000 students in my school or there are 2,000 students in my school. So 2,000, 5,000, they are again numbers. We talk about temperatures. Sometimes we say that, you know, uh, today is like the hottest day of the season and the temperature has, has gone as high as, uh, say, 47 degrees Celsius. So what is that 47? So that 47 degrees Celsius, when we say that, this 47 is nothing but, again, a number. You are hungry and you are given a full pizza and you say that I do not want to eat the entire pizza. I'm just going to eat one fifth of the pizza. That is, I want to eat only one slice out of the five slices of the pizza. So what is this one fifth? So one by five is nothing but again a number. So you see all of these, whether you talk about 95, 47, 10, 1 by 5, 2000, 5000, they're all different types of numbers. So if we are more specific, if we want to define these numbers more specifically, we can say that this 95 is a whole number. We can say that this 10 is also a whole number, 47 is also a whole number. When it comes to one fifth, one fifth is not a whole number, it is rather a fraction. That is, it is part of a whole number, one part out of five parts. So this is a fraction. When you talk about something like minus 45 degrees Celsius, so what is this minus 45? To be more specific, this is an, an integer. So you see whole numbers, natural numbers, integers, fractions, these are all different types of numbers. So let us quickly recap these numbers which we already know. So when we talk about natural numbers, so these are the numbers which come very naturally to us. Now, uh, you, you, if, if you have ever come across a small kid, maybe a kid who is three years old or four years old and he has just learned you know, the alphabet, so he has just started counting numbers and if you ask that kid to count, how do you think the kid will start counting? kid will start counting something like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and so on. So basically the kid starts counting from 1. So all the numbers starting from 1 till infinity are natural numbers. So 1 till infinity they are all natural numbers because they come very naturally to us. The next type of number are the whole numbers. Whole numbers would be all natural numbers plus zero. So zero is the number which exists before one. So starting from one, zero, zero, one, two, three, four, five, and so on till infinity. That is whole number. So basically whole numbers include all the natural numbers plus zero. Perfect. There com then comes the integers. What are integers? So integers include all the whole numbers. So when it includes all the whole numbers, it definitely includes natural numbers as well. But at the same time, it also includes negative numbers. Now, let me give you an example to, to show that why do we need negative numbers? Let's look at this example of water. Now, what happens when you put a glass of water into the freezer of your refrigerator? What happens? After a couple of hours, you see that the water has turned into ice. Why did that happen? Because the water, the temperature inside the freezer was so less that the water was freezed to form ice. 
So now when you look at the temperature, when you looked at the temperature of the water, it could have been the room temperature, maybe any positive value, maybe 10 degrees Celsius, 5 degrees Celsius, anything of that sort. Now when you look at the temperature of the ice, it would be something less than 0 degrees Celsius. Maybe it could be minus 5 degrees Celsius. But the same water, when you boil it, what happens? When you start heating the water, keep it on the oven, heat it, what happens? After a certain point, the water starts to boil. So that time, the temperature of the water goes even beyond 100 degrees Celsius. So when you look at 100, so this is a whole number. When you look at 0 degrees Celsius, even when the water is at 0 degree, that is the point where it just starts getting converted into ice. So 0 is again a whole number. But when you look at temperatures like minus 5, minus 10, minus 15, so what are they? They do not fall under the category of whole numbers or natural numbers. So they are integers. So when we talk about integers, we include all the negative numbers, we include all the positive numbers along with 0. So all of these together form integers. So basically integers include all the natural numbers, integers also include all the whole numbers. In addition to that, they include the negative numbers. Not only these, we have many more types of numbers, for example, decimals. Now, have you ever uh, come across these kind of data? For example, somebody says that, you know, I went for, I, I ran for 5.5 kilometers today. So what is this 5.5? So is this a whole number? Not really, because 5 is a whole number, 6 is a whole number, but what is 5.5? It's not a whole number, it's not a natural number, it's neither an integer. So what is 5.5? So what, what exactly is 5.5? It is not a whole number. It has a part of whole number, but it also has a fractional part. So 5.5 basically lies between 5 and 6. So 5.5 means 5 and a half. So 5, this is the whole number, so this 5 represents the whole number 5, but this point 5 basically represents the fractional part 1 by 2. So a decimal number has a whole number part and a fractional part. And whenever you talk about give me 9.5 kgs of potatoes, or when you say the cost of this pen is rupees 4.75, so in all of these, whether you talk about 4.75 or you talk about 9.5, these are all examples of decimal numbers. And decimal numbers, they have a whole number and a fractional part. Next comes the fractions. The best example to understand fractions would be pizza. So you are given a pizza which has been equally divided into five equal slices. So if you say that I want to eat only one slice out of the five slices, so you are basically eating one fifth of the pizza. So this one fifth is nothing, nothing but a fraction because this one by five is not a whole number. It is not a complete part. So the complete part would be the complete pizza. So we, we are talking about just one slice out of that complete pizza. So this is not whole or this is not complete. So 1 by 5 is not complete. It is part of the complete thing. So it is one part of the complete 5 parts. So that is why it is called fraction. So a fraction is never a whole number. So a fraction is something which is not whole is fraction. In, in, in a way we can say that. So uh, you, you can see from here that fractions and decimals are very closely related to each other. So you can see that decimals are another way of representing numbers which have a whole number part and which also has a fractional part. So it is an, so decimal is an easier way of representing such numbers. For example, this 5.5, it has two parts. It has one part 5, it has another part 1 by 2. So when you add 5 and 1 by 2, you get 5.5. So a better way of representing these two is 5.5. So now in this lesson, we are going to talk about yet another type of number that is rational numbers. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.